Hey goodie bugs, welcome back to Lipsticks and Clits. I'm Raquel and today I am filming off of my phone. Reason being is, um, as you can see on my very messy makeup table, um, my, my camera that I use overheats a lot. Um, so there's times content doesn't even get to get captured because my camera is always dying. Um, I'm in the process of saving up for a new camera um, so I can actually see myself. I probably should just go buy a monitor um, for the time being until I can afford an actual camera. Um, so if I'm looking off a little bit, I'm kind of making sure that I'm still in the frame. Um, but today I'm just going to do a quick little makeup um, and use some new products that I picked up within the past, uh, I don't know, month or so, couple months. Because um, I want to get some content out there for you guys. Um, I miss you guys so, so much, but it's really hard for me to try to provide all of this content. And I have a lot of other stuff going on and I can't do it all by myself. So um, I do apologize for the lack of content that's been out there um, or that hasn't been out there for us. But trust me, we are working on it and we're trying to get things together. So over, um, I can't remember when they had this. I want to say... Um, I want to say they had this for Christmas, um, maybe, I can't remember when, but I did purchase this, so it's the Hyper Real Prep Set, so I'm going to try this out, um, and when I went, I did get matched for foundation, so when I originally went, I was matched at NC45, which is this one, which I think looks, you know, okay on me I think it looks fine but when I went to get matched to said that didn't match my skin tone and that they matched me with NC44 in the prolong wear nourishing waterproof foundation I don't know how I'm gonna take this off <laughs> and then I also went and got a concealer too so um, all these products I've never tried on my face like full face before so that'll be fun um, and the concealer is the prolong wear concealer in NC42 um, and then I also did get um, a bronzer the skin finish natural um, in dark tan so I am gonna try out all of these things um, from the hyper real prep set I'm going to use the little um, primer prep that they sent with ooh, it's got a little hint of pink in it um, and I already attempted to do my eyebrows off of camera um to save time and embarrassment for myself <laughs> um they have not been done in about a month now um so when i did go um the makeup artist that um matched me she told me that um i would probably need to color correct otherwise i'm gonna look gray so I was like, mm, okay, sis. Um, but I do have a lot of hyperpigmentation, um, discoloring of the skin, whatever you want to call it. I have it kind of everywhere. So I'm like, okay, so you, you're selling me a product where if I don't color correct, I'm gonna look gray. I think they really just wanted me to buy the color corrector, but <laughs> jokes on them, cause I already have it. What am I doing? I want to get more content out for you guys. So I'm working on it. It's just really hard for me at the moment right now. Um, I've, so I'm trying to remember how um, one of the beauty YouTubers I watch um, did hers. This is a strobe cream and I think she mixes hers with her foundation. So we'll see i think that was way too much but we'll see i'm gonna try to mix it ew too much too oh my god you guys that's too much what is wrong with me like um hello She seems very light, very light coverage. Um, 
which I guess is okay because I said I was gonna do a little more natural but I don't know what do you guys think I feel like my hyperpigmentation definitely came through I forgot to color correct under my eyes and you can see it just wanted to try some products out and I figured might as well film it because we're lacking in the department of filming I did purchase some things from the Aladdin collection at MAC as well um, so maybe I'll try the, the pigment um, but I did wear the so I wore this no no I didn't I didn't wear this one so I might wear this one no I don't want to wear this one <laughs> so I wore Jewels of Jewels and Raja um, to a wedding um see if I can figure that out but it was so 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 pretty um and as you guys know I do prep with the P. Louise eyeshadow base um usually I go in with shade I think three Yeah, usually I go in with shade three um, to carve out my eyebrows and bring it down a little bit. And then I take um, the white base and I do my crease and then I cut my crease again with that. Oh, guys, I don't like this. Ew, it's like separating. Yeah. I'll give this foundation another try when I wear it without the strobing cream. It's absolute. Oh God. Oh God. And then I take the white base with a different brush because I don't want the colors to melt too much together. Let me clear off my table a little bit. So this pigment is called Rose. So I think I'm gonna do like a neutral brown everything and then just pop that rose on there. Um, you cannot see, but I have pretty much any Juvia's Place palette you can think of. I damn near have all of them, but um, I went to grab the um, Afrique, but I completely forgot there's the warrior palettes um which i have both one and two so i'm probably gonna go back and forth between the two um we'll see we'll see so um i used the brushes i purchased from it's my ray ray when i bought her first palette and i did not forget i do have that video it's on my camera so um when i get time i'm going to edit it for you guys because i really want to put it up there it was supposed to be up there like weeks ago actually i might have to dive into the other one so from warrior palette one i'm taking kano and kind of going right above, I wanna make sure you guys can see, kind of going right above where um, the white base is. Um, I feel like I'm doing it for definition. I'm not gonna sit up here and lie to you guys and make it seem like I know what I'm talking about when it comes to this stuff, because I don't. The Warrior Palette 2, um, I'm gonna take Kufuri? Kifuri. and same brush um and I'm gonna darken in here just in here like a smaller one and kind of drag it and blow it out a little bit Back in palette one, I'm gonna take Mino, I think, and I'm just gonna bring it down here with that def more defined blending brush, and I'm just taking it here. 
just in the outer corner. I don't know what this brush is, but I like taking it in in here for detail. And I'm gonna take from the Warrior Palette 2, Jamada. And I'm not showing you guys any other colors, I apologize. So Jamada is this red one, oh, this bricky color here. And I want to like push it in here and then buff it out into everything else. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit, buff it up. I do want to take the smaller brush and go back in with Kufuri and I actually should have went in with a darker shade. Wow. Um, I think that shade was a little too dark, so I'm gonna go into with Yodi and that did nothing, absolute nothing. So I'm going to take that same buffer brush and I use this, um, I purchased this from Village Cosmetics. Um, it's a quick change for your um, shadows. So I'm going to just clean it and try to, I don't know what I just did, but I'm going to try to buff it away but it looks like it's haunting me okay so how i cut my crease i take the base i close my eyes i wipe it down and then i open my eye as far as it can go because i think i have hooded eyes i feel like my cut crease goes a little above where it should so it takes up a lot. I have to basically make a new a lid for my eye. And I'm not the best at this, so it's not gonna be perfect or anything. Usually when I do my cut crease, I go all the way across. So I'm gonna take um, this brush. I think with pigments typically you wet your brush i just took some fix plus wet my brush here we go oh my goodness this color is so pretty Okay, so, so far looking at it, as it spilt all over my face, um, but I'm looking at the color and it's like, it's rose, like a rosy color, like rose gold, and then reflectance of gold, but reflectance of like purple. It's so pretty. So I like the way I did this side versus this side. This side looks, it looks really, I don't know, like foily. And like I said, I'm not the best with this. My lid, my when I cut my crease, I took it up way too far on that eye. So now I have to attempt to mimic that and it's not gonna look the same because there's no white base this far up on my lid she's cute okay mac and aladdin i see you i see you okay i'm gonna take my fluffy brush and there's not much that i need to do but i'm gonna put um kano on kind of just blend everything to make it more seamless so um, 
I am going to go ahead and contour. So they gave me, well, they didn't give me, this is how this comes. It's a concealer. But I need a brush to apply it. The brush that I use to cut that and I guess use that for this. I don't know. But we gonna, we gonna say. Whoop, clean up. Let's see, can we do it again? Can we do it again? Oh, clean up on aisle 10. I can. Under my eyes crease, so I'm not too thrilled with that. Um, I don't have a, um, contour so I'm gonna take my Fenty and I don't go very far I literally go from here to here um, I don't know if they match up right but how I do it I have dark spots as you can see already right here like that foundation didn't cover it at all but um, I kind of go because for some reason when I break out, I break out really weird, but I really break out in the same area. So um, I'm taking like I'm going from there. I'm going from where my um, acne breakouts are. And I have to sculpt my chin until I don't have one anymore. I have to sculpt my double chin until, you know, she decides to get the hell out of here. <clears throat> I'm going to contour down a little much on my forehead. Which is, you know, easy to do because I, I got a big forehead, you know, big forehead gang. Like, I, I bounced the beauty blender for everything except for when I do this part. I drag it down so it kind of, so it all goes together. So I don't have a setting powder from MAC, but I have two from Fenty. Um, I have hazelnut and I have honey. I personally think honey is a little too yellow for me, but I think the hazelnut, I think the hazelnut um, is a good all over for me. Um, so typically what I do is I take the, the honey and I bounce it on my hand. Um, I learned this trick from um, Irishel. Iris, Irishel, um, you bounce the product so you don't put too much product. You bounce it on your hand. Whatever you have left, usually you blow on it. They'll blow on it if you have clients. It never fails. I always forget something. I forgot to contour my nose. Typically, I like to do this. I'm doing everything else because I still have the other products on. But unfortunately, I didn't get to do that. So hopefully it doesn't look like complete utter trash. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go back and press the honey. So I put the honey. Um bouncing it off. I put the honey under my eyes for highlight. Sometimes I do it up here. Sometimes I don't. But I do put it here. So before I set the rest of my face, I'm going to do my lower lower lash. Lower lash line. I take a tiny brush like this. Make sure it is clean. I'm going to go in with Kano. I'm sorry, I forgot y'all. Uh, I'm really bad at doing this part. So, 
I'm gonna take Kufuri. And do the back. And sometimes I do this and I'll be putting it in my lower lash line and it brushes into my eyeball. I don't know if I'm doing that right. Um, but I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Daria, which is like this peach color, just because um but I'm gonna put that I'm gonna put Jamata on and I'm gonna top it with that just because I want the pink from the pigment to pop through so i'm gonna my jamata i apologize if i say these names wrong but i want everything to tie together and this is daria i'm gonna put her closer to the inner corner Yes, that brought it together very nicely. I tend to always forget this part, but I want to take um, a highlight color. But I want a color that has pink reflectance in it. The Dos, Dos palette by Julia's Place. I think I'm deba debating between... I need to be sponsored just for that happening like I lost some product and that's a very pretty chocolate brown no, I'm angry now like, I'm about to just finish the video I'm not even gonna show y'all because it's gonna fall out but I'm gonna take Tarte which was at the top it looks white and pink and Okay, this color made up for me being mad. Okay, so I just received a phone call. I don't know who it was from because I ignored them because they messed up my video. So now as I'm looking at Honey, it looks really dark right here. Like, that's... I have banana powder that I never used, and I should have used that because I've used Fenty before. I wasn't even thinking. Oh my God, and I always, always forget. So in that same palette, there is a more pinky... Um, Highlighter shade, I always, lately, I've been forgetting to highlight under my brow. I do want to do a makeup challenge where I um, do makeup on how my makeup for prom was versus how I wanted it to be. I think that would be a fun challenge. Okay. Typically, under my eyes for a liner, I use this old Maybelline oh I may have to throw that lash away oh I think I'm gonna use this it's top with brandy I really 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 love this it. by Mac um, it's not new but I don't want to use my other one but I will use um, the uh, lip gloss from the Aladdin collection so I will top my lip with that so I'm gonna do my wing I'm going to set the rest of my face because when I'm done, I'm going to be done. So I take a brush, I go into hazelnut, and I'll probably mess this part up too. And I just brush it all over, all over. No, wipe off. Wipe off the honey that's faked its life away. <sighs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I just messed up all my little baby hairs. Okay, so I usually have lashes out, like like a pair that I use and then I put them back and then I'll use them again. I think all the ones I had like that are dirty. Because <laughs> so I didn't clean them. 
so um, I last couple of makeup looks um, you've seen me where I've been using some lashes that I purchased from my good sis Ebony Lachey um, I will link her uh, Twitter down below and where you can purchase those lashes um, picture of me with those lashes on I will do so um they're bomb I want to really put those ones on but I need some better glue and I, I need to trim them because when I wear them they uh they're so long but they're so pretty if you want a dramatic look I got the flutter me to me that's pretty dramatic I need to cut them because they're they're too big for my eyes so when I wear them um, my eyes get really itchy because they're rubbing against my um, every time I blink they rub as I finally figured it out it works a lot better than me trying to apply the lashes and then coating them because that doesn't if I don't do it this way, it just doesn't work for me. But I am doing better, guys. Can you see? Can you see? Probably not. But that's okay. So typically, you bronze what? Like this part of your face? This part? You give yourself a little something. I'm going to have to redo my edges. I literally swiped my own edges away. And then, I think I was told you bring it here. Now, if you want to contour, that's something different. Okay, first time bronzing, how did I do? So I'm going in with a blush. I think I'm gonna do a nude blush, but a pink highlighter, and you already know. My Too Faced highlighter in the color Canary Diamond. Right now is my go-to. Got this palette from BH Cosmetics, and I'm going in with that color. There's no name, so I don't know what color it is. And, ooh, she's pretty. Ooh, she's really pretty. I like her. I like her a lot. I'm not sure how even my blush looks, but, oh, she's, she's popping. I'm gonna bring her up a little bit, because I feel like, that honey has me looking mad. I look mad weird. I don't wanna go too crazy with the highlights just because this is partially natural. But I'm gonna do my nose. and the goddesses let me beam to them real quick i haven't been highlighting my forehead but you know what so my forehead already looking a little crazy let's, let's go ahead and highlight mm -hmm. okay so usually i line my lips with chestnut but today and sometimes i do cork which is what i'm gonna do today because cork is brown and it's also a really pretty color when I'm trying to do when I don't want my liner to be so dramatic Ooh, 
My lips will drizzy. My lips a little crusty, y'all. I should uh pop some Vaseline or something on, cause uh. Okay, I don't look too crazy now. My lips is loins. Okay, this is top with brandy. And like I said, this is not new. I purchased this a while ago, but. The liquid format they have with this. It's so nice. It's so nice. You don't even want to put a gloss on with this because it's like it's so cute. I'm taking the Atlanta Jewels of Jewels, and she is pretty, pretty pinky. And then we're gonna top it over my liquid. Oh, yeah, it's hot. Y'all don't even get to see the transition, baby, but. Okay, guys, I am going to hop off camera, take my hair down, pop some earrings on, come back, and I'm going to attempt a slow-mo. I don't know if it's going to, if I'm editing on my phone, if it's going to let me do a slow-mo, so. Oh, we don't say that. She's kind of cute already. Yeah. Still mind my nails. I need to feel like. Okay, guys. Ooh, before I forget, I have the Fix It Pink Light Spray. So with all the other products, I'm going to try this and let's see. really good guys all right so um i probably had this on for over an hour um it looks a little weird here like it basically lined with my lips and then it's really um sheer Can't do nothing about it now because it's not moving. So, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, let me pop a slow mo for you. Okay guys, that concludes today's video. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Uh, in order for me to do more content, this might be how I have to do some of my videos. So um, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you guys would like to see. Again, I apologize for the mess behind me. But I've been very busy with life. So uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Yeah, glitter bugs, I love you guys so, so, so much. If you have not already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button Click that notification bell so you get all of our content as soon as it is uploaded. Leave a comment down below. Please thumbs up this video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!